to start with our solution, first of all, we will use paste special and transpose feature of Excel. Let's try few entry. Select range B1 to B6. Then copy the range and click on cell C1. Then right click and click paste special. Then click transpose and click OK. Again, let's select next record from range B7 to B12. Copy them and click on cell C7 and right click then paste special and transpose then click OK. We need to repeat this process again and again using loops in macro code. Let's start recording macro to transpose the column data into row data. Before recording macro, let's arrange Excel and VBA editor to see the live code of macro while recording every step of action. To do that, just go to the developer tab and visual basic. Now let's click record macro option in developer tab with absolute mode. Name the macro as test then shift plus T as shortcut key. Now click OK. Now let's see the code in VBA editor. To see that click plus sign next to this module then double click on module 1. Here in code window our macros start with word sub then test and end with end sub. Sub means subroutines which means every macro is a small set of pro program with a subroutine which will take action to the job. These text after single quotation mark are called comments like shortcut key, name, information, etc. This is very useful for program documentation as well. Now let's select cell B1. If you are looking in the code, it is specifically saying that range B1 dot select, which means macro will select cell B1 even if the current selection is different. Let's change the absolute reference into relative reference. To do that, go to developer tab and click use relative reference. Now let's select range B1 to B6 which is our first record. If you see in the code, it is showing active cell dot range A1 through A6 dot select. Here active cell is cell B1 then it is selecting total 6 cell with active cell. Don't think that this A1 to A6 as the cell range of worksheet, it is only the reference with active cell. Now let's copy these and click on cell C1. If you notice in code, C1 is one column right to the active cell which is cell B1. Now right click and paste special then transpose then click OK. Again go to cell B7 then select range B7 to B12 and copy them and again paste special transpose in cell C7. Again let's do the same for next record. Select cell B13 to B18 copy them and go to cell C13 right click paste special and transpose then OK. I'm using this option for same result. Now let's stop the macro. We will analyze these code and apply loops in our next lecture.